Let's move to the northwest province now, and that's where the education MEC, Viola Mutsumi, says her department intends prioritizing improvements for learners with special needs. Children with autism have been unable to enroll into schools, despite the province having 32 special schools which cater for an array of other conditions. Our reporter, Rafiulu Siboko, is on the ground for us. Rafiulu, good morning to you. What is the department uh, saying about not providing for these learners with special needs? Well, Polly, we're just about to find out from the MEC of Education in the Northwest Province, Viola Mutsumi, on what the intention of the department is into catering for autistic learners and also just the learners in special school in the Northwest Province. Allow me to welcome MEC Mutsumi. Thank you so much, MEC, and welcome to Newsroom Africa. Thank you so much for making time for us. Let's talk about you've been on roadshows and visits in different schools in the province, but we've seen that uh, recently you had uh, made a commitment to say that you're going to look into special needs of learners with, with autism. Let's talk about special schools in the province and what you've been able to discover so far. Okay. Fifi, in the last um, uh, results, in the last academic year, we have realized that as a province, we are not performing accordingly because of some of the special schools. So what I have done since I became the MEC, I made sure that I do have my meet and greets with different principals and educators, obviously focusing on these special schools. So there were so many things. Actually, I've benefited a lot from this meet and greet because I was able to pick up what might be the challenges regarding the special schools. Why are they not performing like other schools, like other provinces? Like, for example, a practical example is that school for the deaf. We know that in the last academic year, out of 29 learners who were doing matriculants, who, are matric who were matriculants, they, they, that particular school obtained 0% pass rate. Where I realized that one of the challenges in that school particular is the educators that we are employing in that particular school. Mm -hmm. uh, as you know, that is one of the schools, special schools, meaning that whatever that we do, the people who are supposed to teach these particular learners must be the people with certain speciali speciality whereby they know, the, they know the sign language and whatsoever. So I have realized well, one of the mistakes that we have been committing as the Department of Education will take anybody as long as that particular person is a teacher. Mm -hmm. Then we employ her or him in that particular school. Hence, we are not getting the results that we want to get. Mm -hmm. So as part of intervention, because it is my responsibility, by the way, in making sure that I provide direction and also provide solutions where there are challenges in the Department of Education because I'm also part of the collective and I want the results. So, so far, we have been in talks with the, Carter, with the Department of Carter where they have assured us that we are going to, have, we are going to collaborate because they do have um, expertise in terms of sign languages so they, are, they have committed actually already to say that they will be able to assist us as the Department of Education for providing those particular educators to go to that particular school as part of intervention. Let me ask this, MEC, just before I hand it over. You recently just went to another province to see on how they are doing in terms of their learners and educators, especially for learners with autism. What is it that you are coming back with and also coming to implement in the Northwest? I think, uh, let me take this opportunity. By the way, I'll be delivering my budget speech on the 23rd this uh, month, which is next week. I'm very clear in terms of, of my pronouncements. I've already made commitment. I've consulted with employees, different directorates and different units within the Department of Education. And then I'm very clear to say that for this coming financial year, uh, we are going to prioritize school for autism because we have, re we have realized that we don't have schools specifically for autism in the Northwest province. And that particular school will be built in Ramos Hirumula. Already we've made arrangements there is a land there. Ours is to appoint consultants and build that particular school and deliver. What we have picked up, we've managed to go to Cape Town because they've got close to five schools so far, specifically for autism. And we've managed to do our road, show, our road shows where we visited those particular schools. We have learned a lot 
in terms of what is expected from us. Because it was myself and then I made sure that I'm being accompanied by the relevant directorate, which is infrastructure, in making sure that whatever that they build there, it's something that is specifically for autism. And then also I've brought, I made sure that I was accompanied also by uh, curriculum because yeah. it's very very important yeah. so we've learned a lot we know the curriculum there there are expertise there there are people who are specializing specifically for curriculum for autism so we are more than ready to build that particular school for the northwest province thank you so much for your time amy c viola mutsumi of education in the northwest province just you know highlighting some of the things clearly that she and, and the department will be focusing on when it comes to learners with special school in the northwest province with, with special needs rather in the Northwest Province. All right, Terofilo Saboko, thank you very much. In conversation there with uh, the Education MSc in the Northwest.